Hey there, welcome back and in this video we are going to talk about JWT tokens. We are going to look at a unique scenario, a specific scenario in the types of JWT attacks because there are multiple types of attack in JWT tokens and I have already covered two of them in my previous videos. So in this video we are going to cover JWT header parameter injection. So let's have a quick overview of JWT. JSON Web Token is a secure way to transmit information between two parties, usually a client and a server. It is often used for authentication and authorization in web application. A JWT is like a message with three parts, header, payload, signature. Header contains information about the token, payload contains the data and the claims, and signature contains the signature that is used to verify the token's authenticity. If you would like to know more about it, check out the video from the i button. There are multiple parameters a JWT token can have, and there are three more parameters that you need to know, that is KID, JKU, and JWK. I'm mentioning these parameters because these parameters can lead to some vulnerabilities and we will look at it. Okay. So if you see a kit parameter in the JWT token that is called the key ID, it works as a unique identifier for the key that is used to sign the JWT. It tells the recipient which key to use from a set of available keys. The JKU header that is called JSON Web Key, it's a URL where you can get the public key needed to verify the JWT signature. So it might be hosted somewhere. So JKU will contain this URL as value and it's going to fetch the keys from the particular URL to verify the JWT signature. Now, the last parameter is JWK. That is called JSON Web Key. This is the actual key in the JSON format that can be used to directly verify the JWT. So instead of giving a URL, a public key is directly included in the JWT header. So you can see the key in the JWT token itself. It looks something like this and it has its own sub parameters like uh, KTY, KID, USE, N or E. I'll explain uh, each parameter one by one. So KDY, also called as key type, is the algorithm that is used. So in this case, it's RSA, it means RSA algorithm is being used to sign this. Then comes the key ID, which is unique identifier. And then comes the public key parameters, which contains the specifics of the cryptographic key like modulus exponent for RSA. Use here indicates the intended use of the key, in this case it's signature, so it is used for signature verification. And parameter here is the modulus of RSA public key and it contains base64 encoded value. Then E contains the exponent of the RSA public key which is base64 encoded value as well. Back to JWK. Now two things you need to know before we jump into the exploitation that is public key and private key. If public key and private key are being used for encrypting and decrypting, that means the encryption is asymmetric encryption. Because in asymmetric encryption, two keys are involved and in symmetric encryption, only one key is involved for both encrypting and decrypting. But in case of JWT, asymmetric encryption is used. So let me give you a simple example that can make you understand this. Alice has a unique stamp. Let's call that the private key, which she uses to sign a document, and no one else has this stamp. Now, Bob has a public stamp checker, and that is Alice's public key. That can verify the authenticity of the document signed with Alice's unique stamp. So, there is a private key that is Alice's stamp, and there is public key that is public stamp checker in this case. So, Alice sends a document with her private stamp. Bob uses Alice's public stamp checker to verify that the document was indeed signed by the Alice. So, if the signature matches, Bob knows that the document came from Alice because only Alice's private key could have made that signature. I hope this makes sense and if it doesn't, you can repeat this part. In one more way, I can say this is private key is kept secret by the owner that is used for signing or decrypting and public key is shared with anyone used for verifying the signature or encrypting. Okay, now that you know these two terms, 
we can talk about this vulnerability called JWT authentication bypass via JWK header injection. As the name suggests, we are going to inject JWK header. Guess why? JWK header contains the key to sign the token. Means maybe we can try to sign our own token, right? Let's try this out. In a typical implementation of JWT verification, the server expects a specific public key or a small set of trusted public keys to validate the JWT signature. This is usually managed through JWK JSON web key sets. But sometimes the server accepts any public key for a particular private key. In that case, anyone can create a private RSA key and a mathematically related public key that can be used to verify the signature and the server will accept it. I'm going to use this both secret lab for a demonstration that is JWT authentication bypass via JWK header injection. Let me copy the lab URL and paste it in my burp scope. Turn on the bird proxy and reload the page. So in the HTTP, I can see the requests are incoming. Let's go to the login page and log in with the credentials we are provided with, that is Weiner and Peter. Okay, so you can see in the HTTP history, I have some requests in green color. This is because I have installed this extension JWD editor. You can install it as well and it's going to show you all the requests that has a JWT token in it. You can see it redirected me and gave me a token. Let's take one request and send it to the repeater. Let's go to JSON web token and here we can see the header that contains a kid value and the algorithm. And the payload consists of sub which contains the username and some other values. Okay, let's see how we can exploit this. Go to the JWT editor and click on new RSA key. So what we are doing, we are basically creating a private key and a public key and we're going to sign our own token. So just click on generate and it's going to give you a new key and you can see it's RSA and there is another kid value and it's a random key value that we just generated. And go back to repeater and change this sub to administrator because we want to log in as administrator that's the goal of this lab and delete the user carlos click on attack and then select embed jwk so we are going to embed our own key here you can see that the header is modified now send the request and it says we to found follow direction let's scroll down and over here, we can see the admin panel. Means the server just accepted our random kid value. Means a random signing key. So let's copy this JWT token. Go to the browser. And in my session, I'm going to inject this token. And then reload the page. And over here, I can see the admin panel. So we were able to sign our own token for administrator and was able to access the admin panel. Okay, I hope this makes sense. I will be uploading more videos on JWT and there is going to be a particular playlist for that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get the notifications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.